Hello, I'm Michael DiDio of Porsche Delaware, and this is Mark Koenig, and we are presenting our 2023 Porsche Restoration Classic Challenge car. Uh, this is the first year that they actually broke it up into different categories. Uh, one of the categories that uh, we chose to do was the individual category, which allowed us to really think outside the box and be uh, super creative. When, what do you think, Mark? What were your thoughts when I, I first uh, picked up this, this oh piece and, and brought it This thing was a nightmare. To the store. Yeah, this was uh, actually a safari build. You know, it clearly been used and abused by the bent floor and the- Sand and rocks. Sand and rocks that fell out of every crevice in the car, right? But as you can see, it's been transformed into uh, our vision, so. It's a rock star piece, and you know, a little storyline about this this vehicle. We picked it up last year. Again, like Mark said, it was a safari package. Uh, it's been it had been ripped and torn and, and pretty beat on. So used and we, abused. we <laughs> took it down to the raw studs. Everything uh, on the car has been replaced, uh, painted, sanded. Uh, you name it, we, we, we've done it. And we really wanted to uh, pay tribute on this vehicle with uh, it, like an RWB style. You know, this car is actually paying tribute to one of his first builds, which was uh, Stella, you know, which is the owner's favorite, favorite vehicle. So he decided that he wanted to uh, try and build a car similar. So this was our own vision. The beauty of this car is it is, it is actually race ready. It's, it's, a, it's like a full blown race car you know, underneath the suspension, it has 935 front control arms, it has uh, adjustable spring plates in the back, coilovers front and rear, RSR sway bars, it has a 625 horsepower twin turbo engine, it's a Motronic engine. This actually started as an 82 uh, turbo and we converted it to electronic fuel injection. So I reached out to uh, ProDomotive and had them build a really uh, cool turbo system for us. Mark has actually worked side by side uh, with Akir Nakai son, uh, who, who really creates art, art. drivable okay. art. People reach out to him to you know, come and customize their wide body kits onto their cars. And each car is just totally different because they're so artistic and has such a cool flair to them and backstory Agreed. to them. And unfortunately, um, you know, his backlog because of COVID and other things was so far out, we couldn't get him to come and do it. Right, right. You know, and then he could have authenticated the kit. The interior is pretty cool too. It has a six point roll cage. You know, uh, it has carbon fiber Recaro pole position seats in it. What else do you think, Mark, uh, when you were tuning the engine? I wanted to make it bulletproof, which is, you know, <laughs> next to impossible, I guess, to do, but I, I wanted to, you know, add all the best components I could. Since Porsche designed and built these engines, there's just so much out there to enhance and strengthen them up for uh, running a lot more boost than they intended. We actually converted it to a 3.2 intake, you know, because the ports on the 3.2 are much bigger than the standard turbo. The standard turbo are very small. Mm -hmm. So we've actually opened the ports up, we twin plugged the engine and put a, a GT2 Evo cams in there. That's so it's fantastic. got a really aggressive cam in there and it's just awesome. Drivability is amazing though. I mean, a car starts up, drives around like a regular car, you wouldn't know it had 625 horsepower. And it's light too as well. How, if you had to guess, how, how much do you think it weighs? Uh, I don't know, I, I, maybe 2,800 pounds. It is definitely lightened up with all the fiberglass bodywork. And we've you know stripped everything off the car that we're not actually using. Uh -huh. Although it, it is street legal, it has all the you know functions of a street legal vehicle, I believe, which is one of the criteria of the competition. Of course. It's cool. We also did a center fill gas tank, which is kind of cool. Gives it that racy edge. I like that yeah, touch. It's, it's just really a touch, do. yeah. And the, the amber lenses, which are, you know. Well, we're excited to head out to Chicago and, and see everyone and display this rock star of a car. Mark, you did a phenomenal job. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate just it. Just jaw dropping. I couldn't have done it without all the support I had. So. And, and it's just, it's truly remarkable what Mark could do uh, with this vehicle. And we're excited to come out to Chicago and display our vehicle. Yeah. Look forward to seeing you. you